Finally. Glasses. Uh, Mahmoud, you know, he's pretty old, not so attractive. He really shouldn't be on Tinder, right? Yeah, maybe that's not the best for him. And if he is, his honest picture is not going to get any matches. Especially as Tinder is just based on looks. Exactly. So, Mahmoud really has no business being on Tinder, I'd say, but what do you think? Using the fake picture from 32 no. years ago? No, 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 no. And, and you're going to get caught out. It's called catfishing. What if it's five years ago? Your picture from five years ago? Maybe. Depends on how much you've genuinely changed. This is terrible. It's um, something we need to be aware of in this level because he's older and obviously he doesn't want to be trying to act young and go into a place where he's going to look like a granddad. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, this isn't going to work for him. See, now this one's wrong and it's because it's one of those situations where he's going to be in the, in the bar looking like a granddad. Mm. Which is not good because he no. is kind of of the granddad age. No, it's not the message we want to put across, right? No, can do much better. So yeah, if you're kind of an older, cool guy, I think a restaurant is a solid one, especially compared to some environment where he might seem old, like a trendy bar. Yeah, and also if you are very clever with where you pick, I think that shows a little bit more thoughts just gone into it rather than just the fanciest restaurant or most popular. So Mahmoud, what's going on? Uh, Richard, I'm, I'm busy today, you know. Yeah, I have yeah. to Business day. meetings? Well, I've got a date with a beautiful mm -hmm. American girl tonight. Okay. You know me. What's she look like? She's beautiful. Of beautiful course. blonde, yeah. beautiful booby boobies. Big boobs? Big boobs. All right. <laughs> What's the game plan? The game plan is I will go, meet her, seduce her, mm -hmm. and slay her. But what, is she intelligent? Because that, that could be... You know me, Richard. As long as she has a nice personality, that's all that counts. <laughs> Wicked, a nice one. I think you got it all under control, so I wish you good luck. You let me know how it goes. Yeah, I will. I will but, call you. But don't send me the pictures like you did last time. I don't need to what, see with the horses, uh, with all of that and oh, other okay. things. You know, I, I you know will, what I mean. Okay, keep that to yourself. Good okay, luck, mate. Richard. See, see ya. Assalamu alaikum. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Max. Yalla.
Emma, please be seated. You don't look like your photo. I can't believe you'd be so shallow to judge Mahmoud over a picture. I'm not shallow. You lied to me. I didn't lie. I mean, why should I lie to you? To try to get me to do something with you? I mean, you're just looking at the exterior. Look at, look at my heart. You know, it's bleeding for you at the moment. But you lied to me. Why can't you just put your real photo on? Yeah, but, 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 but PA fault. Like, I, you know, it wasn't my fault, but, you know, you're here now and... and you know, I want you to spend some time with me. You won't regret it. You look so beautiful. I'm Thank sure you've you. got a beautiful heart as well. Mm. Yeah. yeah, okay. I'll stay. Thank you. But Please. only for five minutes. Okay, okay. Sit down. Thank you. That's the right option. There's not a fantastic option in this situation, but that's about as good as you can do here. Emma, how about some tea? Sure. Tea for two. <laughs> I think we should get some shisha. They do lovely strawberry and daffodil. Mm. Um, yalla! Hey! Pronto! Yes, sir. My child, strawberry and daffodil shisha for me and my princess. Pronto? Yes, sir. Am I you still a virgin? What? I'm not answering that question. That's a straightforward question. It's none of your business. You have to answer the question. I am not going to answer that question. If you want to be whore number 13, you have to answer now! You're fucking disgusting. I'm you gone. fucking stupid whore! Oh, you wasted fuck my off. fucking time! Yeah, cool. Great. You'll never walk Go again in this town! Go buy someone. I don't give a fuck. You silly bitch! Gross. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Emma, I need to compliment you on your character. You made such a good decision in staying and you made Mahmoud very happy today. I think that, you know, this is a very special moment for both of us. Well, I appreciate the compliment. I try to give everyone a second chance. Your inner beauty shines through. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Those bloody judgmental shallow women, yeah? Flattery 101. <laughs> so, Mahmoud, what do you do for a living? <laughs> Emma, well, um, I... I'm passionate about what I do, and I really like to make a difference. Me too. I think it's really important. I mean, I've at least we have something in common. Yeah, that's nice. No, it's perfect. <laughs> that's right, and I think it's a recurring theme that it's always attractive for a guy to be passionate about something. And, you know, if he says he's trying to make the world a better place as well, that's even better. And I think it's a little bit more interesting than just saying very plainly what you do. Definitely. 
Emma, did I tell you that I'm a trained uh, physician? No. Yeah. yeah, I like to help out in the community when I can. It's oh, wonderful. Please, I am ready for you. Remove the beautiful dress and prepare for your examination. Your chair is waiting. So, Mahmoud, what do you like to do in your spare time? Emma, this is not about Mahmoud. This is about you. What do you like to do? <laughs> Me? I like to read, I like to write, I like to dance. Dance? What yeah. type of dancing? Uh, mostly ballet. Ballet? Yeah. Russian ballet? I've never seen I'm Russian ballet. I'm going to book some tickets. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Forget all this reading and writing bullshit. Do you like horses? <laughs> sure. Have you ever had sex on a horse? <laughs> what? Or with a horse? Oh, only what? on Wednesdays. So random. It's a true story. I had a friend um, from Syria, and he was telling me how yeah he was telling me how cool it was to have sex on a horse. Right. And he invited how fascinating. me to Syria because he's got stables. Uh -huh. He wasn't gay, but it was strange. Very very strange. And he didn't w mean with him the sex on the horse. I gathered that one. Maybe because when it moves, it kind of wobbles, and it's mm. I don't know. So you like to read, which means you're intelligent. You like to write, which means you're curious. And you like ballet. You are cultured. Am I right? I'm sorry for my mood. And I'm not being patronizing. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> That's the right answer. Um, making assumptions is a nice way to break up the questions and statements that you might otherwise have. And it's cool because when you try to make assumptions, you're obviously going to need to listen well. And you're, if you get it right, it's impressive. If you don't, it at least shows you're making an attempt to connect and to listen. This place is really cool. I've never been anywhere like it. I only dine in the finest places. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> Your hookah, please. So your daughter is beautiful, sir. I have a great idea. He's a good-looking boy. How about a threesome? Me at the front. Him at the back, that will be the best orgy ever. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got sick. Um, no, I have a better idea. You two guys can fuck each other, and I'm leaving. It was just a suggestion. You don't have to walk off. You want to join me? Uh, uh, never do that. Threesomes or waiters or anything, yeah? What do you think? Vile. Vile.
Thank you for the compliment, my boy. Um, I know you want to date her. You're not in a very good job. What career options do you have? Uh, uh, uh. Don't worry yourself. Have a little think. Come back when you're ready. Okay? Nice one. That's a cool way to kind of put him on the spot. You know, this young guy comes like that and how can you make him a little bit uncomfortable and kind of show your power? That's the way. Yep, take control of the situation. I suppose that's the best way to do it. So tell me, Mark Mood, how old are you? I think you are too young for me, but, you know, show me how mature you are. I think I'm pretty mature. I've gotten a master's in psychology. I volunteered in Africa with the Red Cross, and I think that's pretty mature. That is mature. I'm very impressed. I love this because there's obviously going to be a discussion of age at some point, and for the man, to take control of that and spin it as her potentially being too young is a lot better than kind of leaving it and waiting for her to say, aren't you a bit old for me? Yeah, and also I think there's an element of her trying to prove that he, she's actually right and so that she is old enough and I like that. And there are genuinely two ways to see it. He could be too old or she could be too immature and young, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you noticed in my office in the pharmaceuticals company, I've got the uh, NLP Master Practitioner Certificate proudly on the wall. So obviously we learned all this mirroring and matching and body language stuff, but I found that it's much better to get a real connection with the person, to listen really well, to focus on that stuff. And what you'll notice is that when you have a good connection, you could just be like, oh, we're, at, we're naturally... Naturally marrying. You're both doing that, or you're both doing that. You don't want to get caught out not listening to what she's saying. Mm -hmm. And if she does match your body language, it's an indicator of interest a lot of the time, or it at least means you've got that connection.
this is like every couple, no matter how long they've been together, they just whack out their phone because they're awkward. They don't like just watching someone else playing on their phone. But that doesn't help anything, does it? It doesn't help the situation at all. You should never just whip it out and play with it. I think if uh, someone's on their phone, you should... It sounded really dodgy, though. Yeah, it did sound dodgy. I meant it too. Yeah. So if someone's on their phone and stuff, yeah, it's better to just call them out. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I'm sorry, I just got a happy chat. Do you have happy chat? It's a happy chat, it's fun. Yeah, happy chat! My username is Team Pussy Lover Forever! Add me as a friend! No, no, I don't think no, so. No, add me! I've got so many pictures to show you. I don't want to see you them. You will love them! Nope. Hey, Emma, what are you doing? Hey, Team Pussy Lover Forever! Ew! How can she not love Team Pussy? That was totally diabolical. Absolutely ridiculous. Happy chat is so fun. Yeah, you can join the group of my three wives. Wait, you're married? Well, join the other group of the three whores. You will settle in perfect. No, that's it. I'm done. You can't talk to me like that, and you're a pig. Oh, oh. You're a fucking creep. I'm so sick of this. Emma, that turned me on. Come here. Come here, oh, baby. One normal day. That felt so good. Emma, come here, baby. Oh, I love her more. So Mahmoud has his two uh, groups right. you know, on Happy Chat. Have you got them mixed up? No, he's just got the wife group and the whores group, and I think neither of them would be a, a very Suitable. inviting yeah. Yeah, proposition for a young lady. Yeah, it's happy chat. It's really fun. Happy chat? Yeah. You don't set know me, what it is? Set me up an account. I can definitely help you, yeah. What username would you give, Mahmoud? The Iron Sheik. <laughs> you got a great sense of humor. So this is one of those moments again for older guys when you're trying to kind of play young and uh, kind of get into her world. It's never going to work out well. It's like, okay, let's set up your account in the thing and what pictures are you going to It's awful. No, it just makes you feel like you're, you know, trying to teach your parents how to do it and I think it's always best just to play to your strengths. I'm sorry, I'm not in the best mood. I just got the worst message on Happy Chat. My friend, roommate, she's left the country and I can't get a hold of her. I don't really think she's going to be helping out with any of our bills. So. I've only just met you and, you know, if I can trust you, then, you know, things will be okay. Well, of course you can trust me, but that's unnecessary. You don't need to do that. Please. Mahmoud has a big heart and he helps people close to him. That's actually really sweet. I like hearing that. <laughs> Thank you. I am all yours. Oh, 
You don't need to do that, but thank you. You're so nice. Cool, that's the right choice. You know, if a guy is super loaded, it's, it's a fine line between kind of flashing the money or kind of gently hinting that uh, with him you could have a really nice lifestyle and that he's generally a good guy and generous with all his friends, family and girlfriends. Yeah, I think if you can show that you are, have a nice quality about you, that you're generous, I don't think the money is important. But as long as you're a nice in character, you know, I think that will sh show... You know, I think that will show when you're talking to her. I need to show my unique selling points. So am I. Tell me what you plan to do with your masters. That's what I'm deciding right now. I don't know what to do. Well, I do. It's either my passion or it's money. I don't know. The corporate world isn't very fun. But my passion for helping people... Emma, you have to follow your passion, darling. You're only in your 20s. You have your life ahead of you. That's true. A that pretty creature like you will go far. There's so many things I can do, and I just don't know how to choose just one. And I feel like choosing one means getting rid of all the rest. And now I'm just sitting here. Life is about sacrifices, my darling. That's true. It's exciting and scary. Nice one, that's good. Here you're doing something that, you know, the young guys couldn't do. You're giving uh, life advice because obviously Mahmoud has lived a long, rich and interesting life. Yeah, and it shows that a differential between him and the young guy. And you should take, you know, that's your strength. You should play to your strengths in this situation. What do you think of older guys? I think they have the upper hand. They've got, they're more interesting. They've got something to talk about often. Um, I think it can work definitely in their favour. You know, to be honest, Mahmoud, I was a little sceptical when I first got here. I was about to leave, but there was just something about you that was really sweet and I'm really glad I gave you a second chance because otherwise we wouldn't have had this nice evening. I'm glad I stayed. Emma, I'm sensing there's, you know, a little spark missing, you know, Maybe it's the age gap or, you know, I don't know, but, you know, I have a suggestion for you. What would that be? Emma. I have an exclusive invitation for Amnesty International at Sotheby's. Why don't you be my guest? There's very well to do an important people there. and You can wear that lovely dress and there'll be a lot of fine artwork and fine dining. So yeah, you know, if, um, if a date hasn't gone fantastically or you're inviting someone on, on, on another meeting and, you know, you're not so sure if they'll say yes, if you have some really cool date idea, whether it's something super fancy or just something really interesting, or if you invite other people as well, like her friends, then it's uh, a way to get a more likely yes than kind of a romantic one-on-one -on -one second date. No, and it lengthens your opportunity to get to know her a bit more. Because one of the biggest attraction builders is just time spent together and, uh, you know, the mere exposure effect. That really sounds like the night of my life, but, well, yeah, I, I'll think about it for sure. I'll definitely text you. Okay, you didn't get the 
best ending for poor old Mahmoud, but he might see her again if she doesn't find something better to do. So you could have done better? Could have done better, could have done worse. Emma, I am so sorry, my darling. I have a very important business meeting. You're such a lovely yeah, I know. girl. It's time for me to go and as well. You know, I will make sure that you get home safely, oh, okay? No, no, Don't no, worry no. about anything. Nice no, no. Max! <laughs> it's not necessary. I can, oh, not. I can get my own way. It's hey, okay. come on. I, like I will get you home. No, no, Max, no. get. It's unnecessary. Are you Thank sure? You. Of course, yes. This one looks more friendly. <laughs>